Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, where we left off last time, it looked pretty promising, if I have to say so myself. But we're just going to have a have a look around. I, I thought I was uh, going to focus a lot on the scenery this time. And uh, yeah, if I can do that, that's just going to be great. But I probably can't withstand the urge to just put in more rides and coasters and everything. So we'll see about it. It's going to be fun. By the way, the background music in this game is just amazing. Uh, like It gets me hooked every time. It just makes me happy. I just woke up, so I'm a bit tired, but it's going to be all right. When I, every time I hear this music, it's just like it lifts the spirit of you a bit. Like, look at this beautiful park at night time. This looks amazing. To think that I've created this in a couple of hours. That yeah, that's yeah, a couple of hours. Yeah, it looks better at night time than it does at daytime. I must admit. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna go monthly profit. Park rating change minus. How did that go? Like, why did it go back? Huh. Who knows? Who knows? And what are our challenges? Build a coaster? Yeah. Coaster? Yeah. Monthly profit from shops and facilities. Yeah, that they might have to wait a bit. Alright, so I found the street lamp that I've been waiting on finding for quite a while. I thought it might have something like this in the game. And I wanted to put it... Uh, in this more like sci-fi area, it looks a lot better here in this area than it, than it would do in basically every other area there is. But let's just put a couple of these down to get some lighting going in this area. Alright, a lot of lighting has been placed now, so let's see what our next kind of thing would be. Like as you can see, lamppost all over the place. Lots and lots of them. Maybe I should build a whole nother pirate area somewhere out here as well. Like that's mini pirate land and then the other place can be pirate, actual pirate land. Let's see. Monthly profit is good. It's very good at the moment. That's, that's nice. I thought my, like, there was going to be problems or something. Huh, this ride is... So, oh, there's so many people can actually go on this. Like, this is really one that can make a lot of profit if, uh... It attracts a lot of customers. Yeah, last month's profit. Look at that profit. That is one heck of a profit right there. Juice in rating isn't even that good. And it still attracts lots and lots of customers. Actually, you know what I'm going to do while we wait? I'm going to put in... Uh, not put in, but put someone to start researching new stuff. Like a new shop brand. These are always welcome. Family rides. Great. Thrill ride, track ride, coaster... Coasters aren't really what I need right now. Like, thrill rides are more what I need. Like, lots of smaller um, things that people can go on. Like, the forge over here. Like, that's that's a good addition. Like, that's putting in a lot of profit as well. How about you? Like, you're not going into profit last month. How come, Insanity? You down too much? Nah, should be alright. Which ride are our MVP kind of rides? I like there, that's a good ride as well. Good ride as well. This might be, oh, that's really good as well. Like my, the big ones are taking a tool on the profit. No, not taking a tool. Like that one has always been, been the best, even though it has senior rating of 100. How about teacups? Providing a small profit, but hey, just just for the park rating, that that's that's fine. Like this area, uh, my mind is is blown away. I don't know what to do with it. Like this area over here, I'm I have more of an idea of, of what to do. And like well, while I expand the park, I I think I have some more ideas out here. But like this area right here with the coaster, that's where my mind just that's just blown away. Like this is what I said I did not want to do. Like. I said I wouldn't put in more stuff, but I, I guess I have to when I do the scenery. So now I'm even making excuses for myself. Let's make it, like that looks weird, but it, it's still cool in some way. So I guess I, I can put something in there. So well, while blue is broken down, a lot of things break down all the time. So I'm getting used to seeing that up there. Maybe I even stop noticing it at some point. Like that gives... A bit more to the empty area, we now have this one, let's just open it up, no reason not to. QC racing of 100, so that's already fixed. I just need to put some things over here, 
as well, and some things there. Our, I just found our entertainer. She just stands there. Huh. Huh. Let's see. <laughs> that's all she does. And she likes it. She likes it. They're like, that's her new favorite person. And look at him. He's stoked as well. Hey. So funny. Hey. See, I wish that was, it was so easy to be an entertainer. All right, more scenery done. Like, I soon I filled out that entire space there, and that is nice. Like, look at all the notifications I get when, I, when I'm just concentrated. I can't be asked to look. And we've just a Memento shop brand. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, but um, we can research some more. Let's research, new, like, why not just a new coaster? Dangling Delights, let's just try that one. Has a cool name. Not much, much monthly profit. Park rating change is going down. I think construction costs, yeah, nah, that's, that's not actually that bad. Just park management is so high. Uh, look at this guy, he's so happy. Hey. Right, and the wishing tree there looks fantastic, I think. It goes like, out on the... Like with the, I'm not sure what that's, that is actually, but it looks cool, it goes out. It looks like it will light up in the night time. We got the princess statue with a little rat thing sleeping there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, okay, I think I got that going now. We got more research projects ready to be revealed. Completely gyros, what does it say? The cube, hmm. And what about you? Never goes out of style. Hyperspin family ride. Hyperspin. That sounds like something to this area right here. Use a lot of money on researching different things. And I think like it's been a month since I, I put this one down. So last month's profit, yeah, that go that goes up. Alright, bins for days. That is how our lighting looks. Looks cool. That's how the lighting up there looks. And lighting there. I actually don't have any lighting down like right here. Maybe I should put that as well. Oh, so much to do. As a matter of fact, I've actually been recording for over an hour now. So I think that is the time to say that this is what we did today. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you like what I did with the park. Like I put, I put a lot of effort into this. Uh, I could put more effort into it, but I don't. I like. I play other things as well. So yeah. Wait, minus 1,200, park rating change plus 97. Okay, so we got plus in park ranging, but monthly profit now looks not so good anymore. Uh, we'll have to see about the next month. If I don't make any money, like, I need to do something drastically. Like, it's, it looks fine as it is right now. As long as park shops and facilities doesn't go in minus, I hope rising tickets can pull me through and put me on in that positive uh, side of, of the profit. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, like for whatever reason. If you enjoyed the content of the video, be, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to put on more of these and more of different things that you might enjoy as well. And that's going to be it for me today. See ya.